What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Shin Shaman. Back at you again with another reaction. You already know who it is. And today, I'm going to be reacting to Spider-Man No Way Home. Because, you know, the official trailer of the third, I believe, Spider-Man MCU movie of Phase 4 has just dropped the official trailer. Everybody's talking about it on Twitter. So many reactions on YouTube, this and that. So I thought I'd give my, um, you know, two cents. Is it good? Is it trash? You know, let's find out. Okay, so we got Mary Jane, Dr. Uh, wait, what was that? Hold on a sec. Dr. Fate. He, he just... He just collapsed the um the plateau of New York. Okay, let's get, let's get this poppin'. Oh, look at this. This is a good Zendaya one. still Some looking horrible as Mary Jane, but whatever. To hypnotize females. Stop. Come That's on. one thing I never understood. Like, why did they blackwash um Mary Jane? She was a a red haired um Caucasian woman, but I guess you can't have red hairs anymore <laughs> in uh, Hollywood. You know, they just completely just wiped out all of the red hair women. And they made them all black. Very fucking weird. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the topic of the trailer. Which is Spider-Man. We, we want to see Spider-Man. Okay, he's swinging with Mary Jane. Oh, he's public enemy number one in this movie. He's been exposed. Okay. That, sh that should be interesting. That's always interesting when that happens. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? Uh, what's going on here? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide. Yeah, so he's just exposed now. People. You know, I never liked um, Tom Holland. I think Tom Holland has got to be the worst Spider-Man in human history. Like, worse than a 70s live action uh, tokusatsu um, Japanese shit. Worse than uh, Andrew Garfield. He's the worst live action Spider-Man to, in, to come, and, uh, you know, come into um, the, the fucking media. The worst live action Spider-Man. I... Tom Holland has no charisma. He does not fit Spider-Man. He's not an interesting Spider-Man. He's not even a very good actor. One of the worst castings for Spider-Man. I'm only watching these trash-ass um, uh, MCU movies because, you know, I like Spider-Man. But these recent Spider-Man movies have not been good. I'm trying to give this movie the benefit of the doubt. But so far, what I'm seeing, you know, black, black-faced, um, uh, black-washed Zendaya, uh, Mary Jane, um, trash, non-charisma. Just lame Spider-Man Tom Holland. Like, they could have chose better casting choices for this shit. Anyway, that's neither here or there. To lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? So the movie's about him getting exposed. You know, he's Spider-Man. I mean, this story's been done to death, but let, let's see how they take it. Let's see the, 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 the uh, divergence, I should say. Let's see the divergence. Okay, he meets Dr. Fate. Okay. I mean, not Doctor Fate. Um, what was his name? Doctor Strange. Please be safe. Cause you know, I, I be confusing Marvel characters with DC characters sometimes because a lot of Marvel characters just rip off DC characters. Deadpool is a um, Deathstroke ripoff. Um, Thanos is a Dark Side ripoff, a worse Dark Side. Doctor Strange is a, is a Doctor Fate ripoff. They are just a lot. Captain America is a ripoff of another character. I believe Captain Britain. There are most Marvel characters are ripping off DC characters. The whole um, X Men, and I love the X Men, but X Men X Men are a ripoff of, of um, Doom Patrol, another mutant superhero team. But <laughs> I'm getting off topic again. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When okay, I guess that was supposed to be funny. My entire life got screwed up. Now, that's another thing about these MCU movies. Every MCU movie has the same brand of humor. This this quick quippy humor you know they just say like some dumb will happen and they'll just have like a, a quick quip like everybody reacts the same it makes all the characters feel like they blend into each other instead of being original they all have that same sense of humor just why this shit not funny i mean to idiots it might be funny and i and i fear this movie is going to have that same type of humor it, they just showed it in the trailer to let all the idiots know we're gonna have that same quicky quippy quirky humor <sighs> Well, uh, uh, even though DC movies are trash, at least they don't have their retarded, quippy, quirky humor. That's one thing I can't say about those trash DC movies. At least they don't have that stupid humor, that childish humor. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. So he's trying to make an exchange with Doctor Fate. <laughs> I mean, Doctor Strange to. I won't. Okay, to erase the memories. The 
so people will forget that he's Spider-Man. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think this plot, this type of plot has been done like this before. Okay, that's interesting. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've My God, Tom Holland with the fucking whining. This has to be the most whiny Spider-Man. Can, 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 can they remember? Can, can Mary, Mary Jane remember? Motherfucker, you ask to wipe the memories. Look, 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 what's, what's this bullshit? What the fuck was that LSD special effect? We tampered with the stability of space-time. Multiverse is a concept about... Okay, so the plot of this movie is because of Spider-Man. He, he was selfish. He made a selfish um wish. Or he asked for a selfish favor. And now it combined the multiverse or whatever. Kind of like that uh, comic. I forgot what it was called. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. It's an omen. I'm not too impressed, but like hey, Doctor Octopus, Hello, oh the Doctor Octopus from that fucking um Sam Raimi Spider Man. Okay, so it's the multiverse. All right, uh, that one half bad. I can't say I'm too impressed, too bad. But PS Five. Ah oh, hell no, I'm definitely not giving this movie the benefit of the doubt. PS Five. You mean that console that has nothing but repurposed PS Four games? <laughs> But my uh, final thoughts on the trailer, I'm not too impressed. You know, this type of story of Spider-Man's um, identity being revealed to the public has been done to death. This is trying to do like a different spin. You know, he wishes for people to forget with Dr. Fate. <laughs> my bad, Dr. <Doctor> Strange. <laughs> oh, these Marvel characters. That's one thing about Marvel characters. Most Marvel characters are completely forgettable. Half these motherfuckers were not known to the public before these MCU movies. Nobody knew about Thanos. Nobody knew about Iron Man. Nobody knew about Doctor Fate. Nobody knew about, um, you know, these characters. The only like popular uh, Marvel characters were like Spider-Man, Captain America. The Avengers weren't even that popular. It's funny because, you know, the, D the DC comic characters, the Justice League was always iconic. They were always popular. Everybody knew them, but nobody knew the fucking Avengers. That's what I'm saying. Marvel just needs to step their game up. Stop trying to just repurpose DC stories, but making them worse. But as it stands, this movie isn't looking all that interesting. Am I going to go see it? Yes. Am I going to make a full-on analysis analysis review of the um, movie after I finish it? When it comes out, when it drops, uh, what, was, what was it? December 17th? Yes, I'm going to make a full-on review. So make sure to stay tuned to that video um, and make sure to um, you know subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of more videos like this because this was kind of fun but yeah spider-man no way home what did you think about the movie let me know let me know your thoughts in the um comment section of the video